Hey, it's me, Dahlia, and today I am starting uh, to use live. This is my first um, time trying this out. I had a little test drive the other day, but I'm going to keep doing this. Uh, I'm going to make mistakes, so <laughs> bear with me. I spent about an hour and a half just figuring out how to put this, <laughs> this article next to me, and I'm very proud of myself. Um... I'm not sure if you could hear me. Let's uh, let's see if you could comment. There's a way for me to see the comments. Uh, and hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm not getting any uh, feedback at the moment. But we're going to give this a shot. Uh, thanks for tuning in. First of all, I'm very thankful to all the people who support me. Thankful for uh, having an awesome time this Thanksgiving. And there's a few things I want to uh, mention to you today about real estate. Uh, please send me comments first on the content that I have today, feedback. I really appreciate it because then that would help me on with further shows. Um, additionally, uh, my, my intent is to give you an update on the real estate market, talk to you about things I'm working on, and then hear from you on things that you want to hear about ultimately and what's important to you regarding real estate or anything that you might uh, want to progress in with regards to that only thing related to your home so all right so first things first it was thanksgiving everyone was thanksgiving shopping black friday i personally thought the black friday deals were a joke 20 percent off 30 percent off for black friday that was not enough for me i don't know if that was just me but i didn't see any really eye-popping deals, nothing to make me go, ooh, I'm willing to wake up early for this. Um, so if you guys have comments for that uh, <laughs> or comments about that, go ahead and um, tell me about that. And then uh, let's see, what else? Okay, I'm, I'm learning. So I'm trying to get in on the comments while you're, you're on here. And I'm not sure. Okay. All right, so that's what I thought about Black Friday. Those are my thoughts. But this is important, and how did this relates to real estate? It's that consumers uh, really direct what happens with the interest rate. So based on numbers on the consumer price index is what the Federal Reserve is looking at for a feedback loop regarding the interest rates. As you guys know, the interest rates have gone up a lot this year. And the last two weeks, we started to see a steady decline, a small decline. And the numbers from this uh, Thanksgiving is going to be important for that. Uh, all these numbers are really telling the Federal Reserve what they should do. Another important thing I want to notice and note for you, I was out house shopping this weekend. I worked uh, all day except Thanksgiving because the sales weren't good. So why shop? Might as well go work, right? <laughs> So I did that and I had a great time and something I noticed was that there weren't many homes hitting the market and the ones that were in the market were being sold pretty quickly. So I had a list of homes for a client, about seven homes to go see. By the time we went to go see them on Sunday, about four of them were sold. And it wasn't just for one of my clients, it was another client. So in different areas, it's a different little bit of a rate going on, but the, inven the number of homes on the market is also not really going up. So my personal prediction is that prices are not going to drop. From the data we saw that price reduction stopped. And I saw this week that because the number of homes is going down and the absorption rate of homes, the, people, the number of people going home, of buying homes is still consistently there that we're still... No, there's not going to be many price drops because this is all supply and demand driven. People need to buy homes. People need to move when they either get married, have children, etc., divorce. Those things uh, are the demographics is what gives us um, sales, right, and transactions. Now, I also want to mention to you this article here. I saw some people talking about it. J.P. Morgan is going to buy up a lot of homes, and I think... I've, I've talked about this on my TikToks. I've talked about this on Instagram relating to how these big companies see the benefit of purchasing single-family homes, and they intend to keep doing that 
because I know it's a good long-term investment. So if any of you are on the fence about switching homes or purchasing your first home, know that these guys think it's a good investment and they really do see the end of the tunnel and they see this as a temporary um, situation right now where uh, where people are kind of scared with the interest rates and they're seeing that as an opportunity and they're trying to purchase lots of homes. So now that being said, I told you what's going on with the market. I'm telling you what these big companies are doing. So if you're on the fence of either buying and selling and making a move, I think you should do it now. I don't think prices are going to keep dropping. That's a big per concern for people. And you should do what you need to do for yourself if that's something that you need. Um, what else can I share with you guys? So that's that's kind of the things that I've been looking at personally. I personally want to keep buying real estate. I've talked to you guys. I've shared with you. I did my first investment property. And now my intent is to move on to the second investment property because I think prices are going to go up at least my personal um, thing my personal prediction will be like at least five percent up this year from next year based on what I see here in Southern California the inventory is still home builders aren't building any more homes and they're actually building less with the buyer reaction that we're seeing now which means the supply is being constrained even further and as we know we have a lot of supply need here in Southern California. So that's why I'm confident and I'm hedging that it's going to do well and I'm going to fare out well with my purchase. But that's my personal situation and I say that with confidence because of all the interaction that I'm seeing. Um, so if you have questions about buying a home, I did also want to talk about what are good things if you're a homeowner, let's say you're not thinking about selling, things that I think are really important for for the longevity of your home. So one thing that I've always seen when I go out to see homes, like what it makes one house sell for more over another, eventually you might have to sell your home. I say, I wanted to break it down into three main points. Um, the first one is to, if you are going to upgrade your home, do it properly. <laughs> Don't hire someone that's going to do a shoddy job and you're going to be dealing with issues because of your remodel. Uh, the number two advice I would say is always keep up with your property as far as maintenance. So, for example, go ahead and clean your, your fans, your, your furnace, service your AC. If there's things that are loose, go ahead and tighten bulbs, uh, replace bulbs or like handles. Um, very simple things like that because what happens, if you have Christmas lights and you put them up, Take them down in the summer at least. Because what happens is that when people go to your house and they see that, they think, wow, if you're not even willing to, you know, clean your ceiling fan or clean the AC vent, what else are you not willing to do, okay, for the maintenance of your home? So keeping up with maintenance is super important, and that goes for your, your uh, furnace, your AC, um, your electrical system of light bulbs, wires, loose wires, all that stuff. You want to take care of that. And then another thing, the biggest one I see that really ruins homes, especially rentals, is when there's a leak. So if there's water, water is a great thing. But if there's a water leak, it can cause, um, it can cause a lot of problems, starting with mold. It could destroy a structure. It can make uh, settling happen if it's a raised foundation. It'll invite another set of also termites or other pests because it brings water, brings other a lot of other things. So that's why I'll say defer. Keeping up with maintenance is extremely important. And if if you do plan to remodel, um, just make sure it's a good job. The last item I would say for people that want to keep up the home value of their home is also to look at their roof and take care of that. Sometimes I've seen so many transactions where sellers never look at the roof. They forget. They're like, oh, I don't see a roof. And then they put their house on the market and their roof is about to go. It's a big, 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 big item. And it could turn a lot of people away from your home. So it's always good to keep up maintenance in your roof if there's loose tiles, shingles. People get scared with pricey items like that. 
Well, that's all I have for today. It's my first live. I'm trying this out. Thank you for tuning in. And I hope uh, to get your feedback for more. I thought Saturday, Monday morning was a little bit too inconvenient. So I'm trying lunchtime. And hopefully next week I'll be a lot better at this. Uh, and I'll figure out how to do a little bit more better lighting. But thank you for your comments and thanks for tuning in. And I hope to hear from you soon.